Hey guys, welcome to another YouTube video and on this video I'm going to tell you something that I recently did and is that I moved my website from WordPress into Webflow and in this video I'm going to tell you why. So with that being said, it doesn't mean that I will stop doing WordPress websites um, in the near future. It just means that I am looking for a platform or I guess that I found a platform that allows me to trans transform or build my designs the ones I do on Adobe XD or in Figma into live websites much, much easier. So here's, here are the reasons why I have done this change. So the first reason is that um, over the last few months, anytime I worked on a WordPress website, I found that I spent a lot more time t maintaining and taking care of the website than actually building on the website. And the reason for this too is that there have been many um, WordPress updates, then the themes also have to be updated and kept up to date, um, like the frameworks and all that. And then all the plugins that um, we might have to use on a website, um, they also need to be kept up to date and they also need to, we need to make sure that the plugins that we have are compatible with the updates that are happening. So over the last few months, I found that I spent more time working on making sure the web is, um they were fast, that all the plugins were up to date, maintaining different elements of the website. And I know there are like different platforms um, that I have used to make sure that everything is updated manually, um, sorry, automatically, like uh, managewp.com. However, sometimes when you do this and the website updates, it might crash. So what you have to make sure is that now you have to go on the website and fix everything that was um, damaged by the update. So um, this is one of the reasons why I normally like to update the, ve the websites manually so that I can see when something is updated and if something is damaged on the website. Now, the other reason for it is that uh, most of my projects now are becoming a lot more strategic based projects or strategy based projects more than just um, building a website because, you know, just building it on a template, template layout or something like that. Um, since all my projects are being built from scratch, we design everything from the wireframes, from the content, and then we create this um, full designs for mobile and desktop, I am in need of being able to create them um, into the web a lot easier and faster. Um, with Webflow, I'm able to actually create any design. Once I actually want, I can design it, I can build it with Webflow. And it's not only just what you may see like on the um, desktop, but actually like different pop-ups, animations, um, different elements of the website that might come around uh, whenever the users is, are interacting with a website, um, different interactions that for me to be able to build in WordPress will take me once a long time, or I would have to hire someone to help me do them. So this is the second reason why um, I have moved away from WordPress. So the third reason I have here, and this one you may find to be funny or some of you may not agree with this, is that I actually find Webflow to be better for SEO than WordPress. And I will tell you why. There are a lot of things that um, have taken place in SEO lately and I've been doing SEO for the last seven years with almost every website I ever built. And these websites have been ranking com with competitors like Expedia and whatnot. But what I found is that um, Lately, um, as you know, speed is one of the most important elements of a website for rankings. So when you have to build a website with WordPress, they normally take so much load. Um, a website might be like maybe 250 megabytes instead of being something much smaller that takes less time to load. And if your website is loading in around three seconds and up, then that's sort of considered to be a slow website um, for Google. So one, with Webflow, I'm able to design websites that the structure of the code is so clean and so clear for um, Google to crawl through the website. That makes it much easier for me to rank. Um, I have all the, all the tools pretty much that I do need like um, for the meta descriptions and all that. Um, I normally do this manually, so I do not really need like Yoast or um, any platform to do that with. And then all the different elements like the schema markup and all that, now I can really add them into the website, the entire website structure, because again, it's my code. So when I'm adding a section or something like that, I can actually use Google schema to let Google know that this section is about a local business or a hotel or an agency. So this has made it much easier. And right now I'm training with my website. 
and there were actually some companies that I was not able to outrank before. I wasn't outranking before, but after putting my website live, I was able to outrank them between like two days, right? So that's a big improvement for me and to also speed up my process. And from a client, it helps them a lot to be able to outrank competitors and rank much faster. And then let's go to the other reason, which is, um, as I said, I like to design my own design structure. So when I design an um, XD file for a website or um, web app or something like that, I have already created also the structure that I'm going to be using um, in terms of CSS and whatnot, like all the classes and the IDs and whatnot. I created also in like a wireframe. So since it is 100% my code and I don't have to depend on the framework or the codes that I don't know, DV for example has used or another theme or another frame, WordPress framework has used or all the different um, WordPress folders and directories and whatnot, I'm able to create something that flows really fast. And it's also very easy for me to go ahead and update and give to someone later on to update and whatnot. Then um, the other reason for it is I can do it all on my own, which is extremely good, especially if you are a designer, especially if you are running your own business. Um, the reason for this and what happened in the past was like sometimes I would be doing something on WordPress um, because it required probably like to build a plugin or something like that. I would have to hire or get a freelancer to help me with this. And sometimes this took a bit longer than expected since I couldn't control the time of the development. But since I've began to use Webflow, I don't really need that anymore. I mean, there are so many integration platforms like Zapier that allows you to um, connect any platform that you may need into your website. And then since I'm able to also add my own code to it, I'm able to create all the plugins, um, not the plugins, sorry, the pop-ups and different elements and features that a website may need. So with this, um, it makes a lot, my process much faster, much easier. And it also allows me to put my clients into the market a lot faster. Um, just the last reason for it though is that we are also getting a lot more clients who are asking specifically for Webflow websites. And I think if you're a web designer and a developer, this is something you should be taking on because from what I'm looking at, it seems like Webflow will eventually start to overtake WordPress. And I know it is paid and all that, but it has so many more benefits over WordPress right now for me that I think for the time being, I will continue to build on Webflow. However, I do have some of my websites and even the blog on my personal website running into WordPress for the time being, because we had just ordered um, or paid for a SiteGround um, hosting account. So until that expires, I'm going to continue to use it. So what I am doing is I am extracting all my files from Webflow and uploading them into my server. So like this, I'm actually able to control even my code even more so I can optimize them even further than even with Webflow. And with SiteGround, my, uh, my hosting is really fast. So the website loads in about 1.2 seconds or a little bit more. But um, right now, since I don't have it fully prepared for that, it's in about 2.5 seconds, so it's loading quite fast. So I hope you found this interesting. And if you are thinking about using Word, uh, WordPress or Webflow or moving from WordPress to Webflow, um, comment your reasons in below in the description. I would like to know why you're doing it. And um, if you have any other questions of regarding why I did it, um, let me know, I will answer all of them. So make sure to share this, subscribe, and click the bell button so you can get a video for anytime, um, a notification anytime I upload a video. See you in the next time.